So we're sitting here in, in basically the ultimate man cave for Comcast Sportsnet. How did this whole idea, concept for this thing come up? We wanted to give our fans a peek behind some of the stuff that goes on. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun that goes on here. A lot of interesting sports personalities, celebrities come through here, and we try to figure out a way of how could we bring that to our viewers? How could we bring that to Chicago fans? I guess at the heart of all of this is just this great content generation. I mean, obviously for the web and sometimes for on the air. If some of the best stuff is Frank Thomas sitting over there on those chairs, or Bill Melton, or Will Perdue, or Todd Hollinsworth, you know, reminiscing about stories from when they played. We have Napoleon Harris, former linebacker who's now an Illinois State Senator, at Terrell Owens. Favorite city and stadium you ever played in? Hmm. Man, every time I play in the stadium, it's my favorite. And Napoleon Harris is all over T.O. about trying to make a comeback to play for the Bears, which led to me talking to T.O. about that and him saying, you know, that I played for Tressman. That'd be a great idea. And I end up writing a blog post, and it goes viral everywhere that T.O. wants to make a comeback. And that all started right in here that had he walked into the building, gone in there and taped his quick interview and left, probably never comes up. The punching bag. Can you tell me about this? I mean, you know, there's some tempers, there's some debates that can go on in here. I mean, this could be this could be useful just as a punching bag. Well, no one has tried it out yet, but um, what is really cool on here is all the signatures. Any guest that comes in here signs the punching bag. Can you see this? Jeff Garland is my name. My signature is confusing. That's Jeff Garland. And right now, the biggest trend we're seeing, the biggest change we're seeing in this industry is the shift to mobile devices. We just had a fo uh, some folks here yesterday from our corporate office at NBC Universal, and they were talking about the percentage of people that watched the Olympics on a tablet or on a mobile phone. And during the daytime hours, it was the landline computer. Once you hit 7 o'clock at night, the percentage of people using or watching on a mobile device at times reached 40 to 50 percent. I mean, it was amazing. They want to see our product wherever they are. We would like to get to the point where you're watching and you're experiencing, whether it's with Sidney Green or it's with Mark Janowski, and you have the opportunity to actually chat live with them during the game and talk about what's going on while the game's playing. In the meantime, it's very difficult to get out of this chair. <laughs> you can sit here all day. <laughs> Enjoy it. And if you get to hang out with me, you can also There relax. it is. There you go. <laughs>